At the table, you unlock it. I found some genius furniture that she didn't notice was missing. <laughs> Let's start the project. Get it going. Uh, sometimes you can feel a hangover in your fucking balls. You know what I'm saying? It's like it. Eh? My right fucking nut is throbbing at the same beat as my fucking right temple. Uh, let's get into this. Uh, Alright, you get that? I uh, don't know what I said. What am I doing? Knock the top off of it. Alright. Hang on. Just a second. I'm not focused yet. I haven't gotten focused. <coughs> Now that we got our top knocked off, we're gonna drill out 35 little holes right around the edge to pop our mini lights up through the bottom. Yeah, I like to drill when I'm fucked up. Can't drill without a shot. Get you one. <laughs> That's a good way to get the shit out of you, guys. I'm good. I did have a piece of bacon in my gut I don't know. Now we just need to stick some lights on the bottom. Alright, now what I went ahead and did is put a coat of flat black on there. That's going to make up some of our camo powder. With our holes drilled here, I flipped it over. Made these holes a little bit bigger. That way when you punch your light in, it sticks real good. Comes through there like a pinhole. I'm brushing in a little super glue to make certain these lights don't pop out of their holes. Or a little extra strength, you can staple gun these wires all the way around. Alright, let's flip her over and take a peek. Holy shit, red, white, and blue all the way around the edge. Yeah, soak that in, Russia. Next ingredient, beer caps. Gonna throw on a few of my local favorites around the edge of the table. Stripper in Mississippi sent me this yummy sixer of Lazy Magnolia. Pairs nicely with a blunt. Man, we drink a shitload of a beat of beer down here in Louisiana. But this lime green a beat of cap is rare. Man, I even got a damn LA 31 cap from Bayou Dash Brewing. Gonna use a bunch of these gold Kona caps. Spell out L she on my tabletop. It is key that you lock these caps down in place. If you don't, they'll float up to the top when you pour in your epoxy. I'm gonna use some construction adhesive. I painted up a bunch of my shitty caps, camo colors to fill in around my LSU caps. And for my outer ring, I'm using some of my special caps, along with a shitload of purple haze of beta caps for my LSU colors. My adhesive on the caps is dry now, and I put a coat of flat black on my light wire underneath the table. I'm gonna use this piece of sheet metal to make my form for the epoxy. Now I'm gonna lock that shit down tight using this ratchet strap. This form is on here. This is a simple two-part epoxy. Part A, resin. 
Port B activator. Manufacturer says to start the fuck out of this. Go ahead, pour that shit out freely. It auto levels, man. Now the very last step is to take a small torch, run it across the top. This is gonna release any bubbles. Now give this shit 24 hours to set up. <laughs> Fucking voila. If you're like me, you're saying, what the fuck? Me too. Apparently I was pretty fucked up. Dropped the torch on my form while it was setting up and let in a fuck ton of air bubbling out my table. This sheet metal form comes off easy and clean. Be careful you don't open a fucking vein on this shit. Even with the bubbles, the surface is flat, pretty. You can see the caps, and the lights shine through nicely. Hey, oh, oh, hey, oh. Bam! There it is, a fucking bear trap table for your ass. Hell yeah, my mother-in-law can't see a fucking thing to save herself. She's fucking eyesight shitty. She won't even fucking notice these bubbles. That's fucking rock solid right there. You can play a good game quarters on that shit right there, yeah. I'm gonna see y'all in the shop's next product. I got shit to dick. What's that? Yeah. Have you subscribed? Did you get it? Hit the button. Hit it. Get it. <laughs>